30-year-old Tara Grinstead disappeared mysteriously from the little Georgian town of Osceola, which is known for its vast pecan orchards. And for almost a decade, pecan orchards held the secret of what happened to the former beauty pageant queen, who was having a prosperous career as an American high school history teacher. Tara Faye Grinstead was reported missing on October 22, 2005, and was later pronounced dead in 2010. The Georgia Bureau of Investigation held a press conference on February 23, 2017, to formally announce that a tip had been received that resulted in the arrest of Ryan Alexander Duke for the murder of Grinstead. A few days ago, an individual came forward and reported that they had information in the terrorist disappearance. And he was like, I know what happened. An additional arrest of Bo Dukes was made public, who is a former classmate of Alexander Duke. He was charged on March 3, 2017, with attempting to hide the death of Tara Grinstead, obstructing an arrest, and tampering with evidence. Both men attended Irwin County High School, where Tara was the teacher. Tara's murder case gets reopened after the Duke's arrest. On the afternoon of October 22, 2005, Tara assisted younger competitors in getting ready for a local beauty pageant. She then attended a barbecue and went back to her little, alone home somewhere around 11 o'clock. When she didn't show up to teach her history class, her friends realized something was odd, as she never took leave from school without informing. Her best friend Maria went to Tara's house and called the police. Inside the house, her purse and keys were missing. There were no other overt signs of a struggle, other than a broken bedside light and an alarm clock under the bed. Despite getting hundreds of tips, the police could not solve this murder mystery. But in 2017, a woman named Brooke Sheridan came up with a remarkable story. She claimed that her boyfriend, Bo Dukes, seemed to be hiding something from her. She said that she had pushed him to reveal what had been bothering him. Finally, he revealed his secret to her. Then years before, his roommate Ryan Duke had awakened him one morning and confessed to having accidentally killed Tara while attempting to rob her. Bo said that Ryan had admitted to using his truck to deliver the deceased woman's body to a pecan orchard owned by Bo's relatives. Later, Bo said that Ryan had showed him the spot where Tara's body had been placed. Bo then assisted Ryan in the two-day process of burning Tara's remains in a fire pit. On the basis of this story, Ryan Duke was detained and charged with murder. Prior to the arrest, Ryan Duke gave the GBI a voluntary interview in which he said that while under the influence of drugs, he had been stealing from Tara's handbag when Tara approached from behind. He accidentally hit her so hard that she died on the spot. Bo Dukes was also detained and charged with aiding in the cover-up of a crime. He was found guilty and sentenced to 25 years. Ryan Dukes' trial for killing Tara began in May 2022. Ryan claimed in court that he gave investigators a false confession in 2017 because of his former friend, Bo Dukes. Ryan admitted helping Bo relocate Tara's body before he set the fire. While on the witness stand, Ryan said that Bo Dukes was the one who actually killed Grinstead. Ryan Duke was found not guilty of Tara Grinstead's murder after more than seven days of testimony. He was only found guilty of covering up her death. On that charge, he received a 10-year prison term. Regarding the burning of Tara's remains, both men still face charges in a neighboring county. It is still a mystery what actually happened to Tara on the night she vanished. <laughs>